Set your radiator dial like this, and you won't go bankrupt. Everyone wants to pay as little as possible for energy. I'll show you how to adjust the radiator dial and properly set the thermostat. The radiator thermostat allows you to control the temperature in each room. The dial has numbers from 0 to 5, and sometimes you'll see a snowflake symbol. This symbol means that the thermostat keeps the temperature between 6 and 8 degrees Celsius to prevent the water in the radiators from freezing. Number 1 on the dial means a temperature of 12 to 13 degrees Celsius, ideal for garages, basements, or storage spaces. Number 2 represents a temperature of 15 to 16 degrees Celsius, which thermostat manufacturers recommend for bedrooms. Number 3 on the dial corresponds to a temperature between 18 and 20 degrees Celsius, suitable for kitchens, living rooms, and other areas where you don't sleep. The next number, 4, represents a temperature between 22 and 24 degrees Celsius, recommended for bathrooms. Now, you might be surprised, but number 5 indicates a very high temperature of 25 to 28 degrees Celsius, which is not recommended in homes unless absolutely necessary. So, when you want to quickly heat your home, never set the dial to 5. Set it to 3. This way, the thermostat will maximize hot water flow with greater efficiency, helping you avoid high bills. Place a cloth on the radiator and turn on the hair dryer. Everyone laughed at me when I did this. Now they're doing it too. Throughout the year, a huge amount of dust settles inside the radiator. You don't need to take it apart to clean it. Cleaning radiators for winter can be a quick and easy task. All you need is a small bowl. Fill it with warm water, then take a regular microfiber cloth, dip it into the bowl, and wring out the excess water. Place it on the radiator. Now you need a standard hair dryer. Set it to the warmest and strongest mode. Put it under the radiator and direct the airflow upwards. Hold it for a few seconds. The dirt and dust will come out on top and stick to the cloth. Look at how much there was in my radiator. You won't believe how much cleaner your home will feel after trying this simple method. Use this trick on every radiator in your home and you'll get rid of dust mites. Your radiators will work more efficiently and the air in your home will be cleaner. Before the heating season, pour this simple mixture onto your radiator, and it will be clean and smell like new. Many people forget to properly prepare their heaters for winter, and throughout the year, a lot of dust accumulates inside them. However, you don't need to disassemble the radiator to clean it. Just pour a washing solution through it. In a measuring cup or jug, add two tablespoons of laundry powder, which effectively removes dirt. Then, pour in 500 milliliters of warm water and mix well until the powder dissolves. Place a bowl under the radiator and then slowly pour the mixture in so that it flows through its inner parts. The dirt that has accumulated there will start flowing into the bowl immediately. This is the best way to thoroughly remove dust, and the warm air from the radiator won't spread dust mites, which allergy sufferers will particularly appreciate. Don't throw away citrus peels. What I'll show you will surprise you. Citrus fruits are rich in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that support health in various ways. Instead of tossing the peels after eating, save them. Cut them into small pieces and place them in small bowls. Put these bowls on your radiators. As the radiator heats up, the warmth releases a fragrant citrus scent that fills the room with freshness. You can also place the peels directly on the radiator without a bowl. Just lay them peel side down. But this trick has another benefit. It's also a great way to combat dry air in your room. The moisture and natural juices evaporating from the peels help humidify the air. This simple method reuses kitchen scraps while creating a cozy, pleasant atmosphere in your home. Is cold air coming through your windows? Switch to winter mode, and your home will feel warmer while saving on bills. A hidden screw in the window frame allows you to change the setting from summer to winter mode. 
not many people know that this should be done twice a year, once in summer and once in winter. Grab a pair of pliers or a special window key. The screw responsible for this change moves when you press the window handle. It controls how tightly the window sash presses against the frame. Upon closer inspection, you'll notice that one side of the screw is longer than the other, marked with a large dot. You can adjust it with pliers or a special key. The screws may vary in shape depending on the window manufacturer and are hidden not just on one side, but also on the top and bottom frames. How do you change your window from summer to winter mode? Grab the screw with pliers and turn the largest dot toward the window frame. This increases the seal's pressure, stopping airflow. Cold drafts will no longer sneak into your home through gaps. While it's a small detail, over the course of the heating season, you'll notice a big difference. Did you know windows have different modes? Have you already switched yours to winter mode? During winter, I always have a newspaper in my car. Might sound strange, but once you understand why, you might adopt the habit too. Old newspapers, it turns out, possess some remarkable qualities many people are unaware of. In the winter, our cars often accumulate moisture, especially from the melting snow on our shoes. If you don't want to invest in rubber mats, a simple folded newspaper under the floor mat works wonders. It absorbs the moisture effectively, and you can easily swap it out every few days. Not only does it address the moisture issue, but it also prevents the floor mat from slipping during drives. Simply place it under the car seat or above the trunk. Your windows won't fog up, even in winter. Foggy windows can be a nuisance. If your car has too much moisture, this trick will come in handy. Put it in a carafe or jar and stretch it over the opening. Prepare some dry, white rice. Pour it into the inside of a sock. Rice has brilliant properties as a natural water absorber. Additionally, it eliminates unpleasant odors. Tie the end of the sock with an elastic band. Place the prepared sock in the car. You can tuck it under the seats. If you're dealing with a foggy rear window, place it on the parcel shelf above the trunk. There's no airflow in that area, so the rice will effectively handle the condensation. Although this trick may seem simple, it really works. Replace the rice in the sock once a month. Are you having trouble with your car doors freezing? This trick will solve it in seconds. During winter, door seals can stiffen, stick, or even crack. The plastic parts can be damaged in sub-zero temperatures. That's why, in the early days of winter, it's essential to lubricate them. You can use regular cosmetic Vaseline for this task. Apply the product to your finger and lubricate the seals with it. This will make them firm and resistant to frost. Make sure to thoroughly apply the Vaseline to the seals on the doors as well. Do you have Vaseline at home? Did you know you can use it for car care? A simple potato can work wonders, especially in winter. Take a potato half and rub it on your car windows. The starch it leaves behind prevents water and snow from sticking, proving invaluable during intense precipitation. This trick ensures a clear view without streaks from rain, enhancing overall road safety. Take WD-40 and spray it on that car part, ideally before the coldest weather hits. This simple step can save you a lot of hassle. WD-40, with its multiple uses, proves valuable to keep in your car during winter. If you've dealt with frozen locks and freezing temperatures, you know regular de-icers don't always cut it. That's why a preemptive spray of WD-40 on the lock can work wonders. It quickly fills the lock's internal components, safeguarding it from water and freezing. Taking just a few seconds, this task can spare you plenty of frustration on frosty winter mornings.